In this video, I'll be going over how to add some fake camera movement in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously record your clip or clips. For this example, I already only have one clip. You want to import it into the timeline and then you want to cut it up um, so you can get the desired duration. As you can see, here is the one that's actually keyframed and then this is two clips. I'm going to show you how to actually create this fake camera movement. Now like I said before, keyframing. Now if you did not know this, this whole shot was on a tripod with a camera, with a prime lens, with nobody else manning the camera. So you may ask yourself, okay, well, how did you make it zoom into yourself if nobody's manning the camera and the camera is not moving? Well, like I said before, it's keyframing. So as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and play the clip. As you can see, it's starting to zoom in slowly and then we'll go to the end of the clip. As you can see, boom, there we go. Now it starts to zoom out. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve that look um, in Final Cut Pro. Now it's all keyframing, so let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. As you can see right here, I'll start playing this clip. As you can see, nothing happens. The clip does not move, it does not zoom in or does not zoom out, so that's proof that the camera itself is not moving. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the beginning of the clip and scroll down to the transform section and keyframe scale. Now what you want to do is you want to head to the end of the um, video and you don't want this icon to show up. So I'll use the back arrow key and there we go. You want this icon to show up. Now you want to click on the clip, head over to scale, and then you want to increase it. In this case, I increase it I think like uh, 190. Um, I believe it doesn't be perfect. But there you go. As you can see those yellow um, icons right here, that means it's keyframed. So let's replay the clip and show you and there you go. As you can see, the video starts to zoom in slowly but surely. Now, you ask yourself, okay, well, how does the second clip work? How do you zoom out? Well, think about it this way. You want to start in the opposite direction. So you want to head over here, um, click on keyframe, and you want to scale it up to 90%. You want to start the video how the second video ended, if that makes sense. So you want to go to the end of it, you want to go back and then you want to make and then you go over here and then we'll just scale it down um, to a hundred hundred three percent that's pretty much um, accurate now I'll wait for it to render a little bit and then I'll show you what it looks like but as you can see right here that makes a lot of sense we want to start the second clip where the first clip ended because if I ended it at like 190 and then I started the second clip at like 200 percent you'd be like wait a minute what, what just happened you need to make sure the scales are accurate so let's go ahead and play it again to show you that it worked as you can see right here it's starting to zoom in pretty slowly and then let's go to the end of the clip right here let me start right here and watch this boom there you go now the clip starts to zoom out and that honestly is a really cool um, effect it's just called fake camera movement aka keyframing the scale section of the transform tool anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and insightful make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm giving away a google home mini once i reach 1000 subscribers new final cut pro 10 tutorials every single sunday wednesday and friday at 10 a.m see you guys in the next video peace